everybody. It is Janet Metzger of the Network Marketers Den. Hope you are all doing well. Uh, you know, I've been in this business a long time and you've heard me say it before and it is so true. Uh, the more things change in network marketing and direct selling, the more they have stayed the same. Well, the biggest thing that has changed over the years is the advent of social media. And let me tell you why um, we're talking about social media today. Um, my first disclaimer is I am not a social media expert, nor do I want to be. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a bit. But last week, um, I was asked as part of a networking group that I'm in um, to do a presentation on social media. I said, well, I use it, blah, 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 but I am far from an expert. But it was a 45-minute presentation, and I was freaking out. So I did some research. I, I worked with my um, social media team and um, experts. Hey, Shuvik, thank you so much. Um, they helped me with it. But I thought, you know what? This is a really good subject for a podcast. So that's what we're going to talk about today, the real world of social media as a network mar marketer. Okay, it is um, totally changed the game. And it's it's quite honestly, it's the safest fastest, uh, most effective way. When I say safest, I mean you get to do it from the comfort of your own home, if you do it right, to reach your target audience. But you've got to know who your target audience is, and we'll talk more about that. Um, you see it all the time. Whatever method you choose um, for social media, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, but you've got to know that just by posting, just by being on social media, it's not going to generate business. There is an art to generating business on social media. So it does take time. It is an investment. It's not, I'm going to put a post up here, put a post up there, and the business will come. This isn't the field of dreams, you guys. You have to put the effort in. So it takes time, and you need a strategy. You need a strategy. I really look at social media as a way of um, being genuine. I really look at it as a prospecting tool. I've met many of my clients through social media. We have never met in person, but honestly, um, I feel like I know them. I mean, really, really know them. And I think that's important. So so I, I say that because... I'm in the same boat you are. You know, I I am not an expert. I know I need to do it. I'm not in love with it. So I I work with a team that supports me. Well, you might be thinking, well, I don't have, uh, you know, I don't have the funds right now to work with a team. Um, I didn't have the funds either, but I chose to do it, and it's made a big difference for me. So whether you have a team or not, there's kind of some things you need to need to know. And that's what we're going to go over in today's podcast. So like I said, you want to think of social media as a prospecting tool. And you have to decide what is it that you are trying to get out of your social media. Okay, what is the goal? What is the objective? Okay, if you honestly believe that social media is going to get you sales, um, honestly, that's not what it's going to do. I think you've got to be a realist and know that the goal, I'll tell you what my goal is, is if I want to meet people and I want to take the conversation offline. To me, it's just a tool. It's a tool to meet people instead of being out and about all the time. I'm meeting people on social media. So really, really important to realize that and decide what, what is your objective, why you're really doing social media. So we started by talking about dialing down the niche, okay? Who is your target audience? I can honestly tell you this was like the hardest thing for me to do because like you, like many network marketers, well, I can help everybody. Yes, you probably can. And I'm not saying you can't help everybody. What I'm saying is, is that if you're targeting, if you're narrowing down, that is going to help you with your social media. It's going to help you with your business in general. It's going to help you with your messaging. So you have to dial down that niche. You know, who 
is my target audience. And I certainly can help you with that. Working with an expert will do it, but you've got to think about, you know, um, who are they? Um, what age are they? Do they have a certain occupation? Do they live a certain thing? Do they have a certain problem? You've got to dial it down. Okay. Why is this important? Especially with social media. Um, you got to know where they hang out. So I, I get this one all the time. You should be on TikTok. You should be on this. Should, and I'm like, no, that is not me. More importantly, it doesn't matter what I want to be. My target audience is not using those social media platforms. My target audience is on Facebook. They are on LinkedIn. And they listen to podcasts. That's the reason why I do a podcast, okay? So when somebody says you should be here and there, just because they're on there, they're not a target audience. So you've got to put the time in. You've got to figure out who your target audience is. It's not to say that you can't help other people, but as you're marketing and targeting, because if you try to get on every social media platform, that's all you'd be doing. And that's the number one thing. I don't have time. Well, that's because you're trying to be all things to all people. So it's really, really important that you that you dial down that niche. If you remember nothing else, do that. The second thing I would tell you is, I said it before, it's not going to sell for you. Social media isn't going to sell for you. But what social media does when you do it right is it will help you to educate. You want to educate people about your products, about um, different things within the industry. Whatever it is, whatever company you represent, you are there to educate. Okay. You just want to peak interest. You want to peak interest. Okay. You want to be seen as a subject matter expert. Okay. Now you can't be an expert on everything, but if you've got a particular product that you represent, you want to know your product. So you want to be seen as a subject matter expert, not even so much about your product, but the industry. So for example, if you are involved with, uh, in my case, um, the company I work alongside is CBD. I got to know stuff about CBD. So I educate about CBD. Okay. So it's not going to sell. It's there to help you to educate people. Okay. So that's a, that's a pretty important part. This is the next one um, that you have to get a routine. You have to be consistent. You have to be consistent with your postings. You have to be consistent with your type of post. You have to make the decision, whether it be I'm going to post daily, weekly, whatever is right for you. I can't tell you what's right for you. Um, it's not that you got to be on 15 times a day, whether it's Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. It does not matter, but just be consistent. So whatever is right for you, because the truth of the matter is I was talking with a friend. I've been stalking you. That's what they say. People watch. Now, stalking sounds bad, but they're watching. And then they'll notice if you're not there. So remember, it takes five to eight times. So maybe they're not ready. But when they are ready, you've got to be out there. So be consistent. Whatever consistent means to you, not just here and there. You'll see a lot of challenges out there post 30 days in a row. Okay. Well, hopefully you get into that habit. And I found that the best way to do it is, again, I work with a marketing team on it, but you, you put your post together for a full month. The next thing you want to make sure you do is you, you don't want to be an observer. You want to be interactive. So if somebody is um, commenting on a post that you made or they're liking it or loving it or whatever the case may be, reach out to them, get the conversation going. And yes, you can get it going online. Thank them for their comments, okay? That's how you're gonna change the algorithm. Everybody wants to know all the stuff about algorithms. I don't know it, I don't wanna know it. I just know that if I interact with people, um, I get more action, okay? So the best way to change that algorithm to increase it is to be active and commenting, not only commenting on your own post when somebody comments, but comment on other people's. 
really, really important. You got to be genuine. You have to be yourself. Okay. People will know if you are not being yourself. You know, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. I don't like to do negative stuff, but you got to be yourself. And yes, that means if if you so desire, sometimes it's posting pictures of your family or you went here and you had some fun. One thing that um, really is a detriment it for your posting is to use only company photos. Stock photos, um, people really lose interest. They want to see you. And you have to be consistent about it. Remember, people do business with people, not with companies. So, you know, you, you've got a combination of making sure that your, you know, positive messages, um, educating on product uh, or the industry, whatever the case may be, um, personal things one day a week. Um, it's about the dog. It's about the adventures of Patsy Rose. Um, occasionally, a couple times, three times a month, my team will put out a post. I'm actually asking for the order. Okay. So it's not just sell, 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 sell. It's educate, has some fun. Okay. Very, very important. And if you're not sure what to do, again, I, I work with the team of professionals and uh, impact for brands has been awesome. You got to have the right connections. So how do you find the right people? Yes, you want to have your friends. That's how I stay connected to people that I don't get to see with some family members I don't get to see. But don't accept every single connections. Connect with me. Connect with me. I get that especially on LinkedIn. Okay. Um, if they're not my target audience, unless something really piques my interest, I am not going to accept that. Okay, so you got to find the right connection. So you join the groups of things that you're interested in. It doesn't even necessarily have to be about your business. For example, I'm a member of a couple of dog groups and I'm finding people that I that I'm interacting with and find out that they're in the business that I serve. But I didn't start out with that intention. I was like, okay, these are my peeps. They want to talk about their Cavaliers just like I do. But don't accept all requests. Um, don't be just random about connecting yourself. And you might not want to hear this, but sometimes it's important to clean up your list, unfriend people, unconnect. Um, they're not going to know about it, but if they're not your audience, you know, that's going to help your business a ton. And you're not wasting their time or your time. And here's the real reason why you need to do that, because you need to. If you're serious about this, you got to set an hour a day aside to be very, very intentional, not scrolling through your social media feeds. You have to be intentional about who you're going to connect with. You're going to be sending messages. You're going to be replying. Um, and again, remember, the goal is to get them offline and set it up. So you've got to put it, that's an hour of prospecting. It's not an hour of sitting there looking through all of your thing. What I like to do, if I really need to know what's going on, I just go to my newsfeed. That's the easiest way and fastest way for me. Okay. But I set an hour a day aside, not as, not as often as I should, I'll be honest with you. Um, but when I'm intentional um, and I'll respond for an hour at a time, I'll do it for an hour and then I'm done. But be intentional, intentional about connecting and responding uh, to comments. Um, and again, get those conversations offline. Don't ask for the order. You know, if somebody's interested, just, um, just say, I'm going to send you a PM, a DM, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So really, really important. I'm just going to say this. Don't be spamming happens all the time. We all get it. Reach out the connect. Hey, join my company. Hey, buy my product. No spamming. That's the fastest way to turn people off. And like I said, be genuine. I had the ultimate compliment on Friday from someone who said to me, oh, I love your posts. They're so good. They're so engaging, blah, blah, blah. She goes, oh, it just feels like you. You know what? I don't do those posts. 
but my team knows me well enough. So they do sound like me, but they've got to be genuine, got to be genuine. You don't have to put all your dirty laundry out there, but you got to be yourself. Finally, when you use social media, you want to stand out. You want to be different than everybody else. That's the reason why I said don't be using stock photos. I stand out because I use a podcast. Not everybody does it. Maybe you've got a YouTube channel. You might be thinking, I don't know how to do any of that. You think I knew how to do it? No, I found somebody that could help me. Okay, you can't be good at everything, so you surround yourself with experts. But stand out and be yourself and be genuine. I can't say that enough. Social media is your friend, but don't be a slave to that social media. Don't be spending hours and hours and hours. Set your time for 15 minutes, even if it's 15 minutes a day, a half an hour a day, but it's not scrolling. If When I want to sit and scroll to kind of chill out, Um, that's when I take my iPad or my phone while TV is on at night and I'm scrolling, okay? But I'm not intentional there. That's just a relaxation for me. But if you set the time aside and you plan what you are going to say and you educate, you're going to find that social media could be your friend. That is how I've met so many people. Uh, But again, it's not going to sell for you. So if you want some some help with your social media, certainly you can reach out to me. Um, you can schedule a call. But I also um, do have some connections of folks that can really and truly help you out. They're phenomenal. And uh, but it's it's your friend, but it is not your only tool. Just remember, it is a tool. It is a tool. But at the end of the day, you're the one that people are going to join. You're the people you're the You're the reason why people are going to sign up to be on your team or to be your customer. So this is Janet Metzger of the Network Marketers Den. I will see you in the next episode. So check out the uh, feed below and you'll be able to uh, schedule a meeting. And again, I can get you connected with other social media experts because I'm not and I don't want to be. I just know um, if you use it the right way, it is a huge advantage with your business. So take care, everyone. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.